Often, when we hear of UFOs, the term flying saucers is used to describe them. But where does the phrase come from? I'm Tinfoil Tom, and this is a micro mystery. It was a clear summer day on June 24, 1947, when Kenneth Arnold, an experienced pilot from Idaho, was doing some light scouting for a downed military C-46 transport plane in his Call Air Model A-2 aircraft. While he was en route to an air show near Mount Rainier in Washington, he had hoped to collect a $5,000 reward for locating the missing aircraft. Suddenly, around 3 p.m., Arnold saw a flash of light and witnessed something absolutely incredible. Nine convex-shaped objects moving in formation across the mountain range in front of them. Using his knowledge of the landmarks in the area as a unit of measurement, he estimated that the crafts were moving at an absolutely incredible speed of 1,700 miles per hour, something impossible at the time. The next day, he spoke with reporters at the East Oregonian newspaper, where he described the objects as flying, quote, like a saucer if you skip it across the water. Newspapers across the world latched onto the term, and thus fly flying saucers were born. Arnold's case was corroborated by several credible witnesses, including a Washington State forest ranger on Firewatch who saw similar objects blasting across the sky at the time. Ten days later, a United Airlines crew on a trip from Idaho to Seattle witnessed a strikingly similar set of crafts pacing their plane before suddenly disappearing into the sky. Two weeks after Kenneth Arnold's sighting, the alleged UFO crash in Roswell, New Mexico occurred. Was this all a coincidence, or were we visited by otherworldly beings in 1947? Stay tuned for more intel.